filming this literally about half an hour before I'm leaving the house to go and get rhinoplasty. I still can't believe I'm actually getting it done. So this is something I have wanted for pretty much as long as I can remember. Certainly from um, beginning of high school, um, I was really self-conscious of my nose and it's something I've always um, wanted to do. So I'm finally, finally getting the chance to do it. If you're watching this and you're um, looking into getting rhinoplasty yourself, you'll probably know it's pretty expensive. Um, so for me, um, the reason I'm getting it done now, uh, I'm 27 now, is because I can finally afford to get it done. <laughs> so for me, the, the main reason I'm wanting to get it done is not so much the size of my nose. I quite like the size of my nose. I don't want that to change too much. Um, but it's the shape. So from the front, it's not too bad. However, you can sort of see um, like right here, there's a little bit of a dip. Um, my nose is not straight. It kind of goes like down um, at an angle. Um, but it's from the side that I, I really, really don't like it. So from the side, you can see um, there's a bit of a, a bump. So um, I am having my surgery done in Glasgow, where I'm from. Um, so my surgeon is Professor McCall, uh, and I'm having my surgery done at Ross Hall Hospital. So my surgery isn't actually scheduled until 7pm this evening, um, and as far as I know, it's scheduled for 90 minutes. Fairly quick, but it's, yeah, it's just so weird because it's late on, but obviously it just depends what else they, they have in scheduled in theatre for the day. Um, so for me, I was told not to eat anything or drink anything um, after 1pm. So the last um, video clip ended abruptly. Uh, I was actually in the middle of filming the introduction for this video before going in for my operation and the hospital rang me to say that I was basically running late. I was originally scheduled in to be admitted to hospital at 5pm for my operation at 7pm which I did find really strange because it's quite late at night but I just assumed that theatre was busy that day um, and that was the only time they could slot me in. So as it turns out they had brought my appointment forward and sent me a letter but I didn't receive it um, and as a result I was then late for my appointment. <laughs> Fortunately enough, um, I was ready, I had my overnight bag prepared, I knew I was going to be in overnight, so um, it was really just like a mad dash to get to the hospital. So got to the hospital um, and by the time it took us to get to my room, for me to get ready, for them to organise um, the anaesthetist, um, etc. and for me to get some time to speak to the surgeon, uh, my appointment ended up not really going ahead till about 7pm anyway. So. It was quite a lot of stress. I was more worried that my appointment and my operation wasn't going to go ahead that day. Um, I was really worried that they would turn around and say that they would have to postpone to another time. And I was just really concerned that I kind of built it all up in my head and then potentially it wasn't going to happen. So fortunately enough, um, they, they were able to make it work. And as you can see, I had my surgery. <laughs> It's been about three days now since my surgery. I had my surgery on Tuesday, it's now Friday. So it's Tuesday evening. So Wednesday, um, I stayed overnight in the hospital um, and I was discharged from the hospital about lunchtime at 1 p.m. So for the rest of Wednesday, I was pretty much out of it, still um, really drowsy from the anaesthetic. And then yesterday, um, I made myself like a kind of makeshift bed on the sofa and slept most of the day yesterday as well. So today is the first day that I've kind of felt a little bit more back to myself um, and been able to do things. So as you can see, my, my face is, is pretty swollen. Um, I have been very lucky and not had much bruising at all. I do have a little bit of bruising underneath the eyes but nothing major um, at all. It's never really came to very much. I'm a little bit swollen sort of in between the eyebrows, my cheeks, and it's sort of started to kind of 
gradually come down my face so my face feels very round just now but other than that I've had very little pain Um, my nose if anything it feels like there's a little bit of pressure I'm very aware that I've got something on my nose but it's not been sore Um, the sorest part for me has probably actually been my arm <laughs> um, they couldn't find the vein um, to give me my anaesthetic um, so it took them a few attempts um, which has kind of bruised up my arm a little bit. So out of the whole thing, that has been the most painful part, which is hilarious. It really doesn't feel like I've been in for an operation at all. I have been given some painkillers, but I've not been taking them all the time. I've really just been taking them whenever it feels there's a bit more pressure around about my nose and potentially it could get sore, but it, it really hasn't been bad at all. I've had obviously um, an open rhinoplasty so I do have some stitching underneath my nose which I'll show you so look away if you don't like bloods. Um, I've tried to kind of keep it as clean as possible but um, it's quite it's quite difficult so I've kind of cleaned it a little bit with some um, cotton buds and some warm water but I've really just been trying to kind of leave it alone and let it sort of settle itself. Uh, and then from the side, it's very difficult to tell right now because I've obviously got the cast still on my nose, so um, it's difficult to really kind of see what it's going to look like. But I'm fully aware that when I do get the cast off, uh, it's going to be very swollen. So it takes, I've been told, roughly about a year for the swelling to go down completely. So the way my surgeon explained it was that the, the kind of bridge of my nose here, I'll see that within the first few months. And it'll be more the tip of the nose that takes up to a year for that to kind of fully go down and for you to see the full results. But even with it being swollen, I'm pretty sure it's going to look 10 times better than what I had before. So I'm so excited now for the reveal. So it's going to be about, um, they told me my appointment would be scheduled for about a week after my operation. So I've not got the date or time yet, but it should be Tuesday or Wednesday of next week so i'm really excited so the next time you probably see me will be um for my review so i'm just going to really briefly talk you through some of the essential items that i had before and after my surgery um one of the main things i did before my surgery was i started taking these arnica tablets um it's just two very small tablets um a few times a day and i started doing this a couple of days before my surgery and i'm continuing to do it for about a week after my surgery as well which i think has really helped with the bruising um on top of that i've also been using this arnica cooling gel and um, so i've just been applying this straight to my cheeks and underneath my eyes where i've noticed some of the bruising and i really think this has helped um, minimise the bruising that I've actually had because I've been very lucky with my bruising. Um, I then have just got some ibuprofen and paracetamol, just some painkillers around about the house, um, so I've got them just in case. Um, like I said before, I've been quite lucky pain-wise, it's not been that painful, but ibuprofen in particular um, is quite good for swelling, so I think that has been helping. Um, I've also been keeping just boxes of tissues around about the house as well. Um, for the first couple of days, your nose will leak a little bit. Um, so it's just good to have some um, soft tissues around about for any time that happens. I've also had this dry mouth spray. So anytime you do go under anaesthetic, um, you do have like a tube down your throat and it can cause um, your throat to be quite sore afterwards. So I found this dry mouth spray has been really helpful. Um, I think also as well, initially when you first wake up, you'll have been, um, you'll be quite dehydrated because you won't have been drinking before your operation. So it's quite good to have this immediately afterwards with some water as well. And then the last thing is just some Vaseline or any other sort of lip balm. Um, this is quite helpful because for the first couple of days, you probably will be breathing through your mouth. Um, meaning it's quite good just to have some lip balm because your lips can get quite chapped as well. Oh, so I'm going to get it, take it off. I'm actually so nervous. Yeah? Like, I'm actually more nervous than excited right now. I'm nervous it's going to hurt. Like, I feel like it's going to be like, like I think it's going to hurt the um, stitches coming out. But then I also feel like it's going to be like one of those nose pore strips, like coming off your nose. Hmm. I think I've built it up a 
my head to be probably worse than it's going to be. But that's maybe a good thing. Don't know. And then I'm also just nervous because I know it's going to be really swollen. So I'm just nervous that I'm really not going to like it right now. But I keep telling myself that I really didn't like when I was before. So like, surely this is going to be better even if it is swollen. It's hard to believe that it's been like a week already. Like, it kind of feels like... It's been like the longest week of my life because I've been so excited to see it but then it's also been um, like the quickest because I just feel like you think about like when you break your arm and how long the cast is on for. I my, know. My cast has only been on a week. My stitches have only been in a week. I know. Still can't believe you've got it done. No. I think the thing is as well like what's so kind of scary about going in and getting it taken off is you know it's going to look good but at the same time you've like completely altered your face because like your nose <laughs> is the centre point of your face so you can't help but just be like a little bit worried about what if it I don't know what if it's not what you imagined but I think that's one of the kind of main things they say is don't go in there like expecting the perfect nose because that you're not going to get the perfect nose but you're going to get a nose that's better suited for your face so that at the end of the day should be the main thing but yeah we'll get there my appointment is at quarter to ten it's about half past nine just now so in 15 minutes I could be getting this off my face <laughs> wow. I keep forgetting that I've got it on because like I'm aware that it's there, I can see it, but then sometimes I just forget. And like I had to stop off and fill up my car, and the woman at the, the petrol station was like, <laughs> <laughs> like she had to take a bit of a double take, like not in a bad way, but she kind of had to take like a bit of a double take. Yeah, uh, you don't expect it, don't you know? <laughs> That's so weird. It still feels like it's on. Oh <laughs> wow! Strange, strange feeling. Oh, your bumps for sure are gone. <laughs> this is something you've been wanting done for a long time. Yeah, for years and years, really. It's it's something that I've kind of I've done a lot of research in, so I never ever wanted to rush into it. Mm -hmm. um, no, it's the right thing. And I wanted to make sure I had the best surgeon, so. <laughs> yeah, wow, very different already, isn't it? Ah, yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> some difference. <laughs> So six holes are finer than you in here, so they're all good, aren't they? Finer. Oh, Which is good for you. I'm slightly awkward for our sister. <laughs> <laughs> any, any small initially clips or a microscope, you yeah. take them out. Or... Can you sit forward a wee bit? Yeah, of course. Thanks. Back again. Oh, no, so the profile oh, is nice. Back to then, the sort of swelling to go down. Yeah, it looked okay. good. <laughs> oh, yeah. Already, it's already a change from the full. Oh, it definitely is, yeah. Then you're going to be happy. <laughs> Do I look like a different person? You can still tell it's you. Oh. Uh, with a nose that you'll be happy with. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's caused my eyes to. Go to the back of I can tell it's a good result when you're, you're doing well. When your partner starts to look nervous, we'll get traded in. <laughs> <laughs> I've said that since day one of it. He's been talking about that. I think he's been very supportive. Oh, so sorry. <laughs> it's really awkward, isn't it? I think we've just got one more at the other side, which I think should come out all right. Oh my god! <laughs> mm -hmm. 
going to come It out. is. <laughs> I actually can't believe that. I was going to start crying. Thank you. better from you too. Thank you so much. Right, I'm really looking forward to seeing you back. <laughs> That's why I was. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. Well, thank, thank you. you. See you both soon. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That is so good. <laughs> I can't believe it from the side. It looks kind of cute, doesn't it? It is, yeah. It looks really cute. Goes with the rest of you. So it's now been two weeks since my operation and one week since my cast was removed. Um, and I felt like it was just a good idea to do a little bit of an update on how I've been getting on. Um, overall, I am so, so pleased with my surgery. I'm so happy I went ahead with it. Even though my nose is still pretty swollen just now, um, I'm so happy with the results. I do think I've started to see um, the, the bridge of my nose um, start to go down slightly. However, the rest of my nose, um, especially the tip, will be swollen for quite a few months, um, I'm expecting. The tip of my nose is still pretty numb. I can't really feel it too well. Um, it's quite a strange sensation. But even still, like I'm, I'm just so happy. So, this is what it looks like two weeks after surgery. From both sides, it's kind of been a little bit mixed in terms of people noticing it. Some people have, some people haven't. Some people know there's something different about me, but can't quite put their finger on it, which is exactly what I wanted. Um, I feel like my nose looks very natural, it looks like it fits in with my face a lot better, which was the main reason that I wanted to get this surgery in the first place, um, as well as softening my features a little bit as well. This today is probably been the first day that um, I've actually properly worn a little bit of makeup. Um, so my skin is generally quite dry. Um, and I think just with having the cast on for a week and not being able to cleanse my skin and moisturise, um, it had a bit of an impact. Um, so for the past week, my nose has been very dry, um, meaning that any sort of makeup I even attempt to put onto it, it just shows up really bad. So um, today's probably the first day. And even at that, I've not really put very much on it. I would probably assume if your skin type's not dry, then you'd probably be able to put makeup on straight away, spe specifically if you've got um, bruising. After my cast was removed last week, um, I had just a little bit of yellow bruising left over underneath my eyes, but within a couple of days of the cast coming off, that had pretty much cleared up. Um, so I was really fortunate um, and didn't need to wear concealer or foundation to cover that. I can actually breathe perfectly out of my nose just now and I have been able to do that actually since my operation as well so um, again that's not something I was expecting I thought it was going to be a lot more blocked up. I do have a follow-up appointment with my surgeon six weeks post-op so um, another month from now roughly. I'll probably do a bit of an update video at that point or potentially in a few months time just so that you can see how this has settled down and become a little bit more defined as well which I'm really excited to see. I will insert just now um, some pictures of my nose daily since the cast came off and also some before and after pictures. So one of them is just a straight up before the operation and when my cast was removed. And the second one is before what the surgeon anticipated he'd be able to do and then what my nose actually looked like with the cast off. So I'll show all of them just now uh, and hopefully in a few months time I'll be able to do a further update with the swelling um, having reduced. So thank you so much for watching. I really hope that anyone that is going through rhinoplasty or even considering it that this video has been somewhat helpful. 
um and yeah stick around and i'll do um a bit of an update in a few months time thank you bye bye